Walker. Mark. Location. Louisiana. Mark. Had driven through countless dark and desolate highways. But nothing could have prepared him for the unspeakable horrors he would encounter on that fateful night, deep in the heart of the Louisiana swamps. The road ahead seemed to twist and turn, leading him further into a dense, foreboding forest. His truck's headlights cut through the thick fog, revealing gnarled trees that loomed like twisted sentinels, their branches adorned with grotesque symbols that seemed to pulse with sinister intent. As Mark rounded a particularly sharp bend, his eyes widened in sheer terror. In the middle of the road lay a gruesome tableau, the mutilated carcass of a deer, torn to shreds. Its lifeless eyes stared up at him, a silent plea for salvation in death. The stench of blood and decay filled the air, thickening as Mark's truck rolled to a halt. The scene was like something out of a macabre nightmare. Gore-smeared claw marks adorned the surrounding trees, forming patterns that seemed to transcend the boundaries of nature. The ground beneath the deer's remains was stained crimson, as if the very earth itself had soaked up the blood. Panic gripped Mark's chest as he realized that whatever had wrought this gruesome carnage was still lurking in the shadows, waiting. Suddenly, a guttural growl reverberated through the night, sending shivers down his spine. It was a sound that defied description, a discordant blend of anguish and malevolence that clawed at his sanity. A grotesque figure emerged from the murk, its fur matted with blood and gore. Its eyes, crimson and unblinking, were fixed on Mark with an intensity that threatened to consume his soul. With an inhuman howl, the creature charged, its emaciated form a nightmarish blur as it closed the distance between them. Mark's truck roared to life just in time, the engine's thunderous crescendo drowning out the creature's wails of hunger and rage. The vehicle lurched forward, leaving behind a nightmarish tableau of carnage in the heart of the Louisiana wilderness. For miles, Mark's heart raced as he sped away from that hellish scene, his mind a whirlwind of terror and disbelief. He had glimpsed something unspeakable, something that defied all reason and rationality. The echoes of that nightmarish encounter reverberated in his thoughts, a haunting refrain that left him with a lingering dread. In the days that followed, Mark would recount his harrowing ordeal to anyone who would listen though few could comprehend the depths of the horror he had witnessed. He couldn't shake the image of that monstrous creature, its malevolent eyes etched into his memory like a scar on his sanity. The Louisiana swamps had forever become a place of unspeakable terror in his mind, a realm where the boundaries between reality and nightmare had been irrevocably shattered. And as the years passed, he would continue to drive the highways of the world, forever haunted by the knowledge that in the darkest corners of existence, there are terrors that defy explanation and horrors that lurk in the deepest recesses of the human soul. Trucker, Rebecca. Location, Texas. Rebecca had navigated the winding roads of Texas for years, but nothing could have prepared her for the night she found herself thrust into a nightmare of unspeakable terror deep within the heart of the Lone Star State. The road stretched out endlessly before her, flanked by gnarled mesquite trees that seemed to reach out like skeletal fingers, their branches a tangle of grotesque shapes against the ink-black sky. It all began with a distant, mournful wail that seemed to echo through the night, an anguished cry that filled Rebecca with a sense of profound foreboding. The haunting sound grew closer, intensifying into an agonized shriek that seemed to pierce her very soul. Her truck slowed involuntarily as the eerie noise surrounded her, twisting the air into a symphony of despair. The source of the torment was a nightmarish creature, 
its emaciated form, a grotesque fusion of man and beast. Its pallid skin clung tightly to its skeletal frame, and its eyes, hollow and vacant, bore into Rebecca's consciousness. Those lifeless eyes held an abyss of torment, a bottomless well of suffering that threatened to consume her. The creature's pursuit was relentless. Its movements, a grotesque ballet of unnatural grace as it closed in on Rebecca's truck. With each passing mile, the air grew thick with the acrid stench of sulfur and decay, a foul miasma that clawed at her senses. She could feel the creature's malevolent presence, like a weight upon her soul, an oppressive darkness that hungered for her very essence. Her heart raced as she pressed the gas pedal to its limit, but the creature matched her speed with eerie precision. It whispered dark promises of torment and anguish, its voice a cacophony of madness that filled her mind with dread. Panic consumed her as the truck's engine roared, and she could almost taste the sulfurous heat of hellfire on her heels. Rebecca's truck hurtled through the desolate Texas landscape, the night growing ever darker around her. The road twisted and turned, leading her deeper into a nightmarish labyrinth that seemed to defy all reason. The creature remained a relentless specter in her rearview mirror, its skeletal form growing larger with each passing moment. As the mile stretched on, the boundaries between the physical world and a hellish nightmare began to blur. The night seemed to come alive with nightmarish entities, their eyes gleaming with an insatiable hunger that mirrored the creature. Pursuing her, Rebecca felt as though she had stumbled into the very bowels of hell itself. But just as despair threatened to consume her, a glimmer of hope emerged on the horizon. The road ahead widened, and the distant glow of a small town's lights pierced the darkness. With a surge of desperation, Rebecca accelerated toward the safety of civilization. Her truck's engine, a defiant roar against the encroaching abyss. As she crossed the threshold into the town's welcoming glow, the creature's presence receded, leaving behind a sense of profound relief mingled with lingering dread. Rebecca's heart pounded in her chest, her knuckles white as she clutched the steering wheel, a survivor of a confrontation with a terror that defied comprehension. In the days and weeks that followed, Rebecca would share her harrowing tale with anyone willing to listen, though few could truly fathom the depths of her ordeal. She had glimpsed a malevolent force that existed beyond the realm of human understanding, a darkness that had pursued her through the very heart of Texas. The memory of that night would forever haunt her dreams, a reminder that in the darkest corners of existence, there are terrors that defy explanation and nightmares that lurk in the deepest recesses of the human psyche. The Texas highways, once familiar and comforting, had become a chilling reminder that the line between reality and the surreal can be easily crossed and the boundaries between the seen and the unseen can be shattered with terrifying consequences. Trucker, James. Location, Mississippi. James had driven the winding, desolate roads of Mississippi for years, but nothing could have prepared him for the night he found himself ensnared in a nightmarish labyrinth of terror deep within the heart of the Magnolia State. The road stretched endlessly before him, flanked by ancient trees with gnarled limbs that reached out like skeletal fingers casting eerie shadows under the pale moonlight. It all began with a distant, mournful wail, a sound that seemed to emerge from the very soul of the woods. The haunting cry grew closer, intensifying into an agonized shriek that seemed to pierce James's very essence. His truck slowed involuntarily as the unsettling noise enveloped him, transforming the night into a symphony of despair. The source of the torment was a nightmarish creature. Its emaciated form, 
a grotesque amalgamation of man and beast. Its pallid skin clung to its skeletal frame, and its eyes, hollow and vacant, stared with malevolent intent into James's consciousness. Those lifeless eyes held an abyss of torment, a pit of suffering that threatened to consume him. The creature's pursuit was relentless, its movements a grotesque dance of unnatural grace as it closed in on James's truck. With each passing mile, the air grew thick with the acrid stench of sulfur and decay, a foul miasma that clawed at his senses. James could feel the creature's malevolent presence like a shroud of darkness upon his soul, a weight that hungered for his very essence. His heart raced as he pressed the gas pedal to its limit, but the creature matched his speed with eerie precision. It whispered dark promises of torment and anguish. Its voice, a cacophony of madness that filled his mind with dread. Panic consumed him as the truck's engine roared, and he could almost taste the sulfurous heat of hellfire on his heels. James's truck hurtled through the desolate Mississippi wilderness, the night growing ever darker around him. The road twisted and turned, leading him deeper into a nightmarish labyrinth that seemed to defy all reason. The creature remained a relentless specter in his rearview mirror, its skeletal form growing larger with each passing moment. As the miles stretched on, the boundaries between the physical world and a hellish nightmare began to blur. The night seemed to come alive with nightmarish entities, their eyes gleaming with an insatiable hunger that mirrored the creature pursuing him. James felt as though he had stumbled into the very bowels of hell itself. But just as despair threatened to consume him, a glimmer of hope emerged on the horizon. The road ahead widened and the distant glow of a small town's lights pierced the darkness. With a surge of desperation, James accelerated toward the safety of civilization. His truck's engine, a defiant roar against the encroaching abyss. As he crossed the threshold into the town's welcoming glow, the creature's presence receded, leaving behind a sense of profound relief mingled with lingering dread. James's heart pounded in his chest, his knuckles white as he clutched the steering wheel, a survivor of a confrontation with a terror that defied comprehension. In the days and weeks that followed, James would share his harrowing tale with anyone willing to listen, though few could truly fathom the depths of his ordeal. He had glimpsed a malevolent force that existed beyond the realm of human understanding, a darkness that had pursued him through the very heart of Mississippi. The memory of that night would forever haunt his dreams, a reminder that in the darkest corners of existence, there are terrors that defy explanation and nightmares that lurk in the deepest recesses of the human psyche. The Mississippi highways, once familiar and comforting, had become a chilling reminder that the line between reality and the surreal can be easily crossed and the boundaries between the seen and the unseen can be shattered with terrifying consequences.